A reading from the letter, a reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, who in need is the victor over the world, but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one who testifies, and the Spirit is truth. So there are three who testify, the Spirit, the water, and the blood, and the three are in one accord. If we accept human testimony, the testimony of God is surely greater. Now the testimony of God is this, that he has testified on behalf of his Son. Whoever believes in the Son of God has this testimony within him. Whoever does not believe God has made him a liar. But not believing the testimony of God has been given about his Son. And this is the testimony. God gave us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. Whoever possesses the Son has life. Whoever does not possess the Son of God does not have life. I write these things to you so that you may know that you have eternal life, you who believe in the name of the Son of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise oh. the Lord, Jerusalem. Glorify the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion, for he has strengthened the bars of your gate. He has blessed your children within you. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has granted peace on your borders. With the best of wheat, he fills you. He sends forth his command to the earth, swiftly runs his world. Praise the Lord, Jerusalem. He has proclaimed his word to Jacob his statutes and his ordinances to Israel. He has not done thus for any other nation. His ordinances he has not made known to them. Hallelujah. Praise, Praise the, the Lord, Lord, Jerusalem. Alle, 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 alleluia. 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 Alle, alle. Jesus proclaimed the gospel of the kingdom, and he cured every disease among the people. Alleluia! 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 Praise the Lord! Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory be to you, O Lord. It happened that there was a man full of leprosy in one of the towns where Jesus was. And when he saw Jesus, he fell prostrate, pleaded with him, and said, Lord, if you wish, you can make me clean. Jesus stretched out his hand, touched him, and said, I do will it be made clean. And the leprosy left him immediately. Then he ordered him not to tell anyone, but go show yourself to the priest and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. The report about him spread all the more, 
and great crowds assembled to listen to him and to be cured of their, of their ailments. But he would withdraw to deserted places to pray. Beloved, the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Beloved, that reading from Luke's gospel that we've just read is really touching. Um, if we want to reflect on Jesus' healing ministry, but I'm sure that we will have other opportunities to talk about that. Since we are receiving uh, one of us, Akpene, into full communion with the church, maybe let me rather stop briefly on our first reading from 1 John chapter 5. And on this line, which reads, it says, This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. And it says, the Spirit is the one who testifies, and the Spirit is truth. And so there are three who testify, the Spirit, the water, and the blood. The Spirit, the water, and the blood. Now, beloved, these are, just to reflect briefly, these are the three things that bind you and I, that bind us as family, as members of the church. Have you ever heard people say, blood is thicker than water? You've heard about it before. But you see, in the mind of the church, in the mind of the Christian, there are three things that bind us. There's the spirit. By the fact that when we are baptized and when we are confirmed, we receive the Spirit of God. By the water, by the fact that when we are baptized, we receive the water of baptism which washes away our sins. And by the fact that in the Eucharist, we are nourished by the flesh and the blood of the Lamb. The Spirit, the water, and the blood. That is what binds us into one Christian family. And that is why ordinarily, ordinarily, in the reception of somebody into full communion in the church, she's already been baptized, so she shares the water, I should have performed, in addition, confirmation today, right now, so that she would have the same spirit that we have. And finally, she will receive communion today. The spirit, the water, and the blood. That is what connects us. Um, I think that sometimes um, we, we don't sufficiently see how connected, how, how strongly bound we are. I, I, I'm sad to say sometimes that you, you see a, a Muslim and, and the way they relate to a, fo a fellow Muslim, they understand, you know, that they are bound. But sometimes as a Catholic, understand that we are bound to another Catholic by these three things, the spirit, the water, and the blood. But today as we pray, as we have this beautiful opportunity we shall reflect as we receive a penny on that which binds us. Three elements. And we shall value them. And we shall reflect upon them and understand that indeed the body is one, that body of Christ. May the Lord strengthen us in faith. Amen. We shall now continue with the prayer of the faithful. My dear brothers and sisters, our sister Akbene has been united to Christ through baptism, and now with thanksgiving to God, we have received her 
into full communion of the Catholic Church. As we rejoice at the reception of a new member into the Catholic Church, let us join her in asking for the grace and mercy of our Savior. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who believe in Christ and for the communities to which they belong, that they may come to perfect unity. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, in communion with those who have been baptized and received into his formation as Christians, that it may always grow in knowledge of Christ and proclaim him more effectively. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all in whom the spark of desire for God already bends, that they may be led to the fullness of truth in Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who do not yet believe in Christ the Lord, that they may enter the way of salvation by the light of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In a moment of silence, let us pray for our sister, Penny, and for all those who desire to be received into communion with the church. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. God our Father, hear the prayers we offer, especially for your daughter, Akpene, that we may continue always united in loving service to you, we ask this through Christ our Lord. 